Hi, I'm Jim McCutcheon, owner of McCutcheon Music, and as part of our Choose Your Instrument series, we welcome Julie Baker. She holds a doctorate in flute performance and teaches at Mount St. Joseph's College in Cincinnati. We're so proud to have her on our staff here at McCutcheon Music, and she's going to tell you some of the wonderful things she can do with the flute. Hi there, I am so excited to share with you some information about the flute today. So if you look at my flute, you can see that it's a long metal tube and I have these buttons and we call these keys. And this is how I end up changing my fingers to get different sounds. Now the flute is a member of the woodwind family and there's two reasons for this. The first reason is that I need to use air in order to get a vibration. And the second reason is that a long time ago the flute used to be made out of wood and so that's how it became a member of the woodwind family. So over the years I have done so many things with my flute. I have played in orchestras, I have played in chamber groups, but today I'm going to go ahead and play you a solo which is when I'm playing on my own. And the first solo I have for you today is a song called The Rakes of Mallow, or you might also know it as the Galway Piper, and it is an Irish folk song. is such a fun song and my students really love learning it. Now I also have a different style of music to play for you today and this is from the classical period which was during the 18th century. Now you're going to hear that the music is just a little bit different and one of the cool facts about this piece was at this time instrument makers were experimenting with different designs so oftentimes you might hear a crystal flute instead of a wooden flute. This song is called a gavotte which is a dance. that the composer decided to put just a little bit of humor in there. Now one of the things that we do in my teaching is we also talk about some of the silly sounds or um, extra techniques that we can do on the flute. So one of the things that we can do on the flute that sounds a little bit silly is something called a flutter tongue. And if you listen really closely it kind of sounds like a hive of bees buzzing around. And so we get the air and we get the tongue rolling and that's what creates the B noise. Now another thing that we can do on our flute is an extended technique called an air attack. So I'm going to make a sound like a ch or like cha cha cha. And what's going to happen is I'm going to send a big wall of sound over the head joint so that I don't get a clear sound. So here is a Spanish song using an air attack. takes so much air and able to do that, but I love the sounds that it creates. Now the last thing that has been very popular recently, we have been learning how to do flute beatbox from all the way from our beginner students to our most advanced students. And um, the technique I'm going to teach you today is the cymbal. Now when we do the cymbal, we make a tss, tss, tss noise with our tongue on the roof of our mouth. 
So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play an exercise where I play both the flute sounds, but I also get the cymbal noise. And then what I love about the flute beatbox too is um, not only is it a lot of fun, but each student kind of ends up having their own unique sound so that when they play each exercise, it's not always quite the same. Okay, so as we are talking about all the cool things we can do on the flute, the next important thing is how can you learn how to play the flute? So this is what I think to think about when I have students starting. So the first thing is we want to make sure that we have really good fine motor skills so that we can use all of the keys on our flute and also problem solve when things don't go quite right. right. The next thing I think about is our ability to multitask because we have to blow and we have to do the fingers at the same time. And the last thing I think is you have to really, really, really like the flute sound. Now, as I'm playing my flute, I like to think about where is my air going to go? So if you've ever been to the eye doctor and he's put the light in your eye and you have to follow it, I like doing that um, as an exercise because we have to be able to guide the air into the flute because the hole is so open. So if I just blow towards my finger and chase my finger, I can use my lips to guide my air wherever I want. So if you can do those things, you are ready to play your flute. Now that we've made the transition into remote learning, we want to make sure that we minimize all of our frustrations at home. So there are two essential things that you need. You need a great instrument and you need to make sure you have access to information or in this case, a lessons teacher. So in order to get a great instrument, McCutcheon has rentals of some really fine beginner instruments that are both durable and are going to last you for years. And just in case you have a whoopsie moment where something spills on the floor, you can come over here and you can get it fixed up. The second part is having a good teacher, especially for flute, is really important. There's a lot of things that can go wrong, and it's always helpful to have a guiding hand. Different students are going to struggle with different things, so we want to make sure that we can pinpoint those issues and uh, give students usable solutions so that they can see improvement, not just every day, but week to week as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've really enjoyed sharing um, information about the flute, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Thank you, Julie. You really make the flute look like it would be a very fun instrument to learn. Here at McCutcheon Music, we have quality instruments for beginners as well as advanced players. These instruments meet or exceed national requirements for music educators. We also have a fine instrument repair shop that can take care of any problem that you might have with your instrument. We offer a very budget-friendly instrument rental program that includes a maintenance plan so that learning music will not be hampered by any problems with your instrument. We have a great teaching staff and we've been here over 30 years. So give us a call at the number on your screen, and we'd love to talk to you about any instruments for band and orchestra that your child might be interested in. Thank you.